All right, what's up you guys? A lot of you guys have been asking about what makes my vest special or what I look for when investing in a vest. Um, so I'm gonna start off by I don't use certain vests. So first vest, this was actually one that I wore on the street uh, while I was a police officer for heavy gear. Um, did my first 30 days of Murph in this thing and it's pretty hard to imagine looking back on it now. Um, the straps on the top would constantly get rolled over top um, almost like choke me out. The Velcro is crappy. Um, overall, probably the crappiest version of a vest I used. Um, got back here is always coming out, hung, hanging on by bungee cords. And um, I think I probably did 30 or 40 vests, or um, 30 or 40 Murphs in this thing. Um, and it is falling apart. And quite frankly, it sucks. So next one, uh, this one, I actually like the profile of it. As far as being a slim, low profile, um, I like where it sits on me. Um, and we took that into consideration when making a vest. However, I don't like the square format as it does rub on my belly button area. And the clips um, ended up getting rusted out after about 40 MRFs. So rusted clips are no good. Um, it sucked taking this off, as you can see, getting jammed up, rusted up. Um, this thing's also, like I said, not bad, but not great. Um, next one, I thought this one was the best, the best one I'd ever used. Um, Cumberbund, nice elastic, and um, this is the one I was used to wearing. I wore this one for probably 60 or 70 days in a Murph, and as you can see, compared to what I wear now, the profile on it sucks. Um, it is extremely long. It rubs on my belly button. As you know, I typically do Murph without a shirt on and we get a ton of rubbing from these flaps under here. It's got a pretty, um, a pretty shitty internal system for holding in the plates. It would constantly fall out. Um, my plates are rusted through on the inside from using these and it's just big and bulky. And um, now looking back on it, when I give this to my friends when they use it, um, I give it to them because they go a lot slower. Uh, so now we have, the next version of the vest, and this is the one that helped design with Bullet. Um, absolutely in love with this thing. The profile on it is perfect for movement, and the best part about it is I can get it as tight as I want. The issue with the other vest is I could not get them tight for other movements. I can get this thing to the point where you feel like you can't even breathe. However, due to the way that it's placement of the vest is and the plates, I can breathe and I've learned to breathe through my stomach than diaphragm breathing with this. You don't even need to do that. It doesn't move. I can do burpees in this, handstand walks, you name it. So the difference between all of these vests and this one, primarily for me that makes it a no brainer is the movement and the capability to move in this thing. It does not move, it does not bounce when I run. Like this vest coming up and stabbing me in the throat while I'm running, that's not very good. Um, burpees, impossible and these other options. This thing's not going anywhere. All right, it's perfect, it's built to last. It's made with bullets, bulletproof material. It's not gonna rip. I've dropped, I probably wore this vest for 40 or 50 MRFs and when I'm done MRF, I take it off and I slam it on the ground. Constantly on the ground into the concrete. I have no rips, it's completely fine. I did my PR in this one. I'm actually holding 23 pounds, doesn't make a massive difference. And that goes to the next version of the vest which is the same format and outlay of this vest. However, it's a little bit sleeker, no molly on the front, which honestly for fitness, we don't really need. Um, but it keeps that same exact placement on your body. Everything's the same except the cummerbund, in my opinion, fits a little bit better. I like it. It's adjustable. Um, it takes less adjusting on the fly and it's got elasticities to it so I can make it as tight as I want. Cause like I said, after doing 365 MRFs, like I'm used to it. I want the thing extremely tight. I don't want it bouncing all over the place. That's the key to going fast. And this vest gives you that option at a smaller price point. Um, and we got a nice little pocket, which you don't really think is important, but when you're on runs, like you gotta have your phone in there. So here we go, regular size iPhone, boom, right in there. And something that was really cool for me is while I was filming Murph, I could keep it sitting here like this and I could look down at my mile pace because I don't wear a watch for that. Um, you can throw your keys in here, it's big enough for your keys, anything you want. 
like I said, you wouldn't think that was a big deal until you do 365 days of MRF, and then you need a pocket. Um, also, this is an investment that you're making for something that you might use one to two times a week. What other piece of equipment do you use one time, two times a week for 60 minutes on your body? Not a lot of them. Um, I think it's a no brainer for investment. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them.